Um, okay, so the video I'm going to be making today is just talking about getting a dog in college. And just kind of like an informational video for like college students that have never owned a dog on their own and want to adopt and are thinking about, you know, where they should get one from, what they should expect, and all that. Um, so I feel like to start the video, I should show you Casey first. So Casey, come here. Come here, Casey. Come here. Come say hi. Come say hi. Okay, so this is Casey. Chris, say hi, Casey. Yeah. Casey is a seven and a half year old shepherd. Um, we got her from St. Hubert's, which is on Route 22. It's like 15 minutes away from here. Um, Casey was given back twice previously before we got her. Um, she likes to stand there and look out the window, so she might do this for the next couple minutes. Um, but so she was given back twice previously. The first time was because her owners were unable to care for her. Um, I'm not sure if it's, if they were older or if like they came across hard times or something, but they had to give her back. Um, and then the second time a family adopted her and they didn't realize they were allergic to dogs or something because they gave her back about a week later and said she shed too much. Um, but she was only in the shelter for about... A week before we got her she had been gotten there September 13th I think and we picked her up on um, like September 25th so we've had her for about a month now I want to say almost yeah a little less than a month um, and as you can see she is completely comfortable in our house already she's just chilling here um, okay so one of the things that we were worried about was food and how much food was going to cost and how much she was going to eat and stuff. Um, we've kind of worked out a schedule of feeding her. We do one can in the morning, one can at night. And so this is Alpho, it's Alpho dog food. Um, it's like 94 cents a can. And we buy them in packs of 12, I think. It's like $10. Um, and she eats these, she loves these, it's like straight meat, it's specifically for adult dogs because she is older, um, but other than this, we give her maybe a little bit of kibble sometimes when we have it around, but generally it's just the Alpo cans. Um, but other than the cans of food, we also spend money on treats, so this is one of the bag of treats we buy. Um, she likes this one. She's not crazy about this one, um, but she likes it. So that, so that's like five dollars a week on this on these type types of treats. Um, we have milk bones. These are specifically for senior dogs too. Um, so you can actually hear her chewing on one in the background. Um, but these you can get at any shop, right? Actually, like any store, even like regular grocery stores, not even pet stores. Um, they're pretty standard, they're pretty cheap, um, and they last a while. Um, but other than that, we also have two bags of bones. Um, this is bacon flavored bones, and these are soup bones, which Casey actually likes to bury her treats. Um, so she'll bury, yeah, she'll bury a soup bone in the couch. I don't know if there's one still here on this way. Okay, so one of the issues that we've had, um, actually like one of the only ones that we've had with having a dog here is she does have like attachment issues, so she'll start barking if we leave her. Um, so we've kind of been taking her everywhere with us. She goes to football games, she goes out to eat when we go out to eat, she goes to a friend's house with us, and she's like a really mellow dog, so none of that has been an issue because she's pretty quiet in public places, like we get along fine with her being there. Um, but we are trying to work on that issue because we're going to have to leave her home at some point. Um, but she's going home with Liz for Thanksgiving. Hi. Um, and <laughs> yeah, <again. laughs> but yeah, so she's coming home with me for Thanksgiving and I told my family already. So I think the only way for Casey to work it out is to actually be left alone. We can't bring her with us everywhere. Yeah. So not even in a mean way, she has to work it out. Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a kiss. 
you have a kiss, Casey? Oh. Okay, just one training tip, or a few I have. Um, never punish after the fact. Dogs will have some accidents no matter how good a job you do training them. And if they're actually caught in the act, like squatting, like to pee in the house or something, don't yell at her, hit her, kick her. Just pick her up and tell her in a neutral tone of voice, out, like outside. Um, carry her to the appropriate place and let her finish like what she's doing, finish her business. Um, but yelling, making loud noises, or other punishments don't help with house training and seem to cause fears that can actually disrupt the house training process. Um, if she wasn't caught in the act, don't yell, do any type of punishment. It's totally ineffective, and it only teaches a dog to mistrust you. Um, she will not make a connection between the behavior that produced the mess um, and the punishment delivered minutes or hours later. Okay, so that was our video um, talking about getting our rescue dog and how our experiences have been so far. Um, um, so if you ever see us on the streets with Casey, feel free to call her Casey Frank, like the comedian. Queso Cheese, uh, Case of Spades, or Quesadilla. She's friendly. You can pet her. Very friendly. Yeah. Bye. Say bye, Casey. <laughs>